going on, everybody? I'm John. And I'm Allison. And a new episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV starts now. For today's episode, we've got all the usual segments. Plus... Wait a minute, Allison. Today, Infiniteers, we've got a very special segment for you. In fact, I am going to be performing a death-defying stunt of incredible bravery and unmatched skill. That's right. Wait, what? Wait, are you, what are you talking about? Tyler, hand me my helmet. My man, thank you. All right, look. For today's stunt, I will be shot out of a super cannon. Are you sure you want to do this, JV? Are you kidding me, Allison? Of course I want to do this. Kids, don't try this at home. Crazy. Uh, JV? Well, hopefully he lands okay. In the meantime, let's count down the winners of the Stunt Course Toy Box Challenge. Starting us off at number five, Rapunzel and Rex's birthday bash by Model Trainman and Mighty Gidus. In honor of their shared birthday earlier this month, they made a Stunt Course cake. Do sweet stunts and pass out favorite desserts for bonus points. We just love when two Toy Box artists team up, especially when the results are this sweet. Congrats and happy belated birthday, guys. Revving it up for a number four finish, Crazy Dobbs Pickup and Delivery by the Baroness 89. Crazy Dobbs needs a new driver. Think you're the right one for the job? Well, first he has to see your crazy skills in action. In this city, time is money, guys. Collect takes for points. City driving has never been more wild. And coming in strong at number three, Widow X Stunts by Sonic Photo. Prove your skills as an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. in Black Widow's Motorcycle Stunts Arena. Air stunts give you two points, fire rings give you one point, and falling off your bike deducts a point. Sonic Photo recommends this toy box for one player, but you'll be competing against the entire community on the online leaderboard. Last we checked, the top score was 295 points. Think you have what it takes to beat that? Let's see. Swinging in at number two, Spidey's Park by F. Daniel IX. Our web-slinging friendly neighborhood Spider-Man has a real treat, a stunt park free of charge. And of course, he's put his own Spidey spin on it. You're literally going to be bouncing off the walls and the ceiling. Gravity can't hold you down. The anti-gravity effects rocketed this stunt course to the top spot this week. Amazing work, F. Daniel IX. And drumroll please, coming in at number one for the best of the best toy box worldwide this week is Monster Truck Wrestling by UK challenger Balsa Villain. Okay, first of all, you know a toy box is going to be good when the toy box artist has created their own animated logo. Very nice touch, Balsa Villains. The rest of the toy box totally delivers too. It's the Iron Truck Challenge. Beat the time set by the current Monster Truck Wrestling champion by smashing cards in the ring and doing tricks on stunt ramps. Cars characters are definitely recommended for this one. Congrats to our top five, and a huge thank you to everybody who entered. You guys definitely pushed the limits with your stunt course toy boxes. All of the toy boxes that you just saw are available for free download right now from developer picks in the game or on the top toy boxes page on our website, so definitely check them out. Look, fantastic job with those stunt course toy boxes. They're perfect for a daredevil who lives on the edge like your main man Johnny B here. Our next challenge is a bit on the tamer side, but no less cool. That's true, Allison. Look, you guys are really going to have to use your noggin for this one. So we take off my, my stunt helmet here. All right, guys. So we present for you the puzzle challenge. We want you to build a puzzle-filled toy box that tests the wits of your friends and the entire Disney Infinity community. That's right. From mind-bending mazes to code-cracking challenges to multiple choice quizzes, there are a lot of ways for you super genius toy box artists to go with this one. Be sure to submit your puzzle toy box by April 29th at noon Pacific time. That's right. Now, look, we're going to throw it over to our toy box mentors who are going to get you started with some great ideas for how to go about building a puzzle toy box. Take it away, guys. Hey Disney 2.0 players, this is Ryan. And I'm Quinn, aka Quinn Jitsu. Quinn, have you ever felt puzzled? All the time. But now that's a good thing because I've created this toy box for the upcoming puzzle challenge. How serendipitous. So in this challenge, you have a lot of options. Will you challenge players to a quiz? Will they have to use platforming toys in some clever sequence? Or will you create a code they have to crack? There are a lot of directions you can take things. Yes, indeed. And to help you, we've highlighted a bunch of toys that you may want to use. Ready? Ready. We have launching toys from the decorations category. 
color changing blocks, weather vanes, super cannons, and whirlwinds. Mashers, rotating rails, tar pits, and moving ledge grabs. Moving walls and platforms. Pressure plates and color changing plates. Spinning platforms, fans, and pendulums. And of course, creativity toys like the ballot box, counter, dual action trigger, logic gate, and text creator that can be used in a huge variety of diabolical ways. And don't forget that many of the platforming toys can have logic connected to them to add hair raising action to your puzzle. But those are just a few ideas to get you started. Builders can use anything they can imagine to create the perfect toy box. So Quinn, can you show us the challenge portion of your toy box and uh, explain how you built it? Sure thing. I'm a huge fan of blasting stuff all over the place with super cannons. In this challenge, you have to drop a basketball from a falling object generator and use the super cannons to get it all the way up through the basketball hoop. The catch is that three color changing plates are connected to the cannons so that every color change aims different cannons at different angles. It's up to you to figure out the correct sequence of colors so that your rock will make it to the rim. It took some planning to make this challenge work. I figured out what angles the cannons would need to be to win, then worked backwards to come up with all the different combinations of angles different colors from the three different color changing plates would trigger. If you get two turned around and want to start over, no problem. I set up an action button that will return all the super cannons to their original positions and turn all the color plates off. Well shoot, this challenge sounds like a ball. It just goes to show you have to be super clever to win at basketball. So Quinn, your tutorial has to do with the ballot box, right? You are correct, sir. The ballot box is very useful for puzzles, like if you want to have a certain combination of colors on color changing plates to win a challenge, or multiple pressure plates to be activated to open a door, which is actually the tutorial we have for you today. First, you'll need to place a ballot box and two pressure plates. Connect your first pressure plate to the ballot box so that when the plate is activated, it will cast an A vote on ballot one. Then you'll connect your second pressure plate so that when it's activated, it tells the ballot box to cast an A vote, but this time on ballot two. Next, go into the properties of your ballot box and set the target A votes to be two. This means that both the pressure plates have to be activated to reach your target of two. Now, connect your ballot box to the door so that when the target A votes is reached, the door will open. There's even a spot in the tutorial where you can play around with the connections yourself. Looks like if you just take things step by step, it's pretty easy to set up all the connections. So what if I wanted the door to close again if one of the pressure plates gets deactivated? You'll have to finish the tutorial to get the inside tips for that. I accept your challenge. Well, that's it for this time. Have fun, use your imaginations, and we'll see you in the top five. All right, guys, so last week we played the third and final installment of Toy Box Tales Avengers. High five, bro, that was pretty awesome. And if you missed it, click now to check out our Let's Play. But not to fear, there's more Toy Box Tales to go, right, Allison? Definitely. The adventure is just getting started. Guys, get ready to web sling, because this week the Toy Box Adventures have released Toy Box Tales Spider-Man, the first in a series of three free Spider-Man toy boxes that they've created and they'll be releasing weekly. Let's hear more about Toy Box Tales Spider-Man from the creators themselves, Avalanche Software. Back to you guys out in Salt Lake City. Hey everybody, this is Stuart, aka Crazy by Nick from the Toy Box Mentors. Now I'm here to tell you about the next exciting installment of Toy Box Tales. Last time when Toy Box Tales Avengers Epilogue ended, Spider-Man and his friends were called into action. Green Goblin's gotten away with the data he stole from the Asgardian Runestone. What evil plot is he hatching? Other villains also come into play as you race to save New York City from fire, force fields, and ferocious symbiotes. Pick your hero and swing into action. Toy Box Tales Spider-Man Avengers 1-3 through and Avengers Epilogue are now available for download. Look for them under Disney's Toy Boxes under Community Content, or find them using the Toy Box search on Disney Infinity website. This week's trivia question is, which two Disney Infinity characters come with Marvel Spider-Man playset? Last time on Community Talk, we asked you what classic character would you love to see join the Disney Infinity roster? Here's what you guys had to say. Kevin said I would go more along the traditional route and want to see many Goofy and Pluto implemented into the game. Mr. Stud said how cool would it be if Darkwing Duck was in the game and his special move would be that he throws down a smoke bomb, blinding enemies around him. That would be awesome. And Mr. Orsi said I would love to see the Mad Hatter from 1951's Alice in Wonderland. She's my favorite character and it would be so fun to run around the toy box throwing teacups at enemies. And for this week's Community Talks question, we want to know from you guys, what key franchise under the Disney banner would you love to see join Disney Infinity? Hey 
iPhone and iPad users, we wanted to let you know that all digital characters and character bundles in the iOS version of Toybox 2.0 are on sale through Sunday for up to 50% off. If you still have not downloaded the mobile experience, you can download it now for free at the link below. On Instagram, a Disney's Toy Story posted this picture of Anna and Elsa and said, Happy National Siblings Day. That dessert looks delicious. Did Elsa freeze up that ice cream herself? An Etsy cuter tweets, My first Disney Infinity game piece. Hey, great choice for your first figure. I mean, it was all started by a mouse after all. And closing out this week's social spotlight, Edson of Mean Art posts a picture of this wickedly redesigned figure of Maleficent. She writes, I wanted a classic Maleficent, so when the figures went on sale, I bought a new one and repainted my original to look like the cartoon. Very impressive, Selena. Turning the thorns into fire was a really cool idea. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our show this week. Definitely. We are so excited to see you again next week. But until then, get to work on your puzzle toy boxes. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.